We're going to review Trivellini system and how it works. Uh, Trivellini is a multiphasic uh, extraction device. The reason we need a multiphasic uh, extraction device is that we don't want to go with the same speed and same uh, energy into different layers of the skin. So when we are extracting here, superficially we have thicker, uh, denser skin. So we have to cut through the skin easily and go all the way in. So if we go with a lower energy or not enough power, we cannot cut through the skin. When the initial phase is not done right, the whole procedure, the whole extraction procedure will be uh, not uh, probably done as well as we want it to be. So that first phase is very important. We have first phase and second phase. The first phase cuts to the tough portion of the skin. The second phase is just liberating the grafts that are ready to come out. First phase is more energy, second phase is low energy. If you use low energy on the first phase, we cannot cut through the skin. If you use high energy on the second level, we're increasing the chance of uh, transecting grafts. So let's look at the uh, diagram here. So if this is the skin, the superficial layer, epidermal and superficial dermis is very dense. So this is the dense area, okay? and. Let's use a red color for our hair. Our hair is gonna go like this. This is the hair follicle that we wanna extract. So when we wanna extract this, our punch comes in, the first phase goes all the way through this and cut through the skin. So that superficial layers of the skin needs more energy. We usually use rotation, maximum energy to cut through this, but this is very superficial, only one millimeter. When we pass that initial one millimeter, we can go in and out real quick, but it's still, if you go with the same energy, there is a chance that this edge of the punch comes very close yeah, to the like hair it. follicle and we may damage the that. follicle. We may get uh, transection yeah. or pairing of the grafts or we can miss the graft altogether. So Trivellini system is helping us with this. So here's the system. Let's focus on two phases, phase one and phase two. Of course, you can add more phases. When the machine, you start using the machine, you have, you see there's one phase, you can add mode to it. So in this case, the first mode, we want it to be very sharp, very powerful to cut through the superficial layers of the skin. So the best thing we can do is rotation with 100%, 100% power. This power could be adjusted. If you have a skin that's fragile, we can go to 80% or even less. But I like to use 100% because there's not much of a problem when you cut through the skin with 100% for the first millimeter. The first millimeter is minimal chance that you can transect anything. So use the maximum power even if you have to increase the time. So you can adjust the time. I can use 200 millisecond for the first phase. So when we cut through the first phase, then we start the second phase. So at this point, we are done to cutting through the skin on the first phase and then we are ready to move on to the next level, meaning we're cutting the tough portion of the skin and we are uh, waiting to liberate the grafts from those fatty tissue around it. Think of it as the hair follicles are floating in a pool of fat. They just need to be liberated enough, just loose connections needs to be cut. So we don't have to go that uh, harsh and that uh, strong with the rotation. So we switch it to something else. So we're gonna add the second mode as oscillation in this case so we're adding oscillation we have control on the power of the machine how fast we want the machine to go back and forth with oscillation in this case we put it at 60 degrees 60 percent and also I can change the degree of rotation or I'm sorry oscillation so that oscillation degree I put it to 300 millis 300 uh, degree so in this case we're not going with full energy and we're not going with full rotation or more than full rotation which we have it for some cases in this case, we're going for 300 degree back and forth 300 degree back and forth with lower energy that's a very safe mode for the deep layers of the skin and to liberate the grafts uh, liberate the follicular units without damaging the follicles so sometimes for the second phase, instead of oscillation, we can use mamba mode. Mamba mode is a roto oscillation mode, meaning that we have an oscillation with long arch. So we go two turn one way and two turn the other way. 
So we go this way and coming back. It's more powerful than regular oscillation and it's used for uh, the cases that we have scarring underneath the skin or we have very thick uh, or uh, dense tissue underneath the superficial layers, la layer of the skin. In this case, we want to put the mamba probably for 400, 500, or even 600 milliseconds because we want to take our time to go in and out. Um, if you want to add any mode, we can add um, something like uh, vibration, which is a very short arch uh, uh, oscillation. It goes just vibrate the tip of the uh, punch and just help us to loosen some of those uh, uh, fiber, uh, fibrotic tissues that could be down there. Most likely when I use vibration is when I want to finish the last phase. So that's in the end to the whole uh, three phases basically. So looking at the skin layers one more time, the thick layer of the skin, we did rotation to go into the skin and liberate that superficial layer. So cut through the skin, make sure uh, we're centered. We are protecting the hair because we're not going all the way in. So if the hair is, is having a splay, the two sides are going away from each other. It's not going to be affecting our first uh, phase of extraction. The first phase goes in, uh, get lodged into the skin, uh, cut the superficial layer, and then for second layer, we're switching to oscillation or mamba mode, and we go in and out real quick because there's not much resistance usually. So we can liberate the grafts with minimum damage to the uh, hair follicles and uh, with uh, maximum speed because we don't have to um, take our time to cut through the superficial layer. Superficial layer could be cut very fast and we can follow with the uh, liberating the grafts as fast as the first phase. So we go in and out, usually like 500, 600 millisecond for each uh, uh, extraction of grafts. So reviewing the machine one more time, these are the phases that we have to set up. We can have control on the time of um, the action or the mode and the power of the mode. And in the case of oscillation, we can control the arch of oscillation. Also on the top of that section, we see surgeon one, surgeon two, surgeon three. So this is different passes of extractions. So like in this case, we have attempted 800 uh, basically extractions uh, from the beginning of the procedure. And the first, second phase, we're gonna mark the second uh, surgeon and we wanna see how many attempts we should go on that. So we won't go totally off chart or we don't lose the track of our um, extractions. When we go higher, we see this time of beginning time from the beginning of the procedure uh, that is marking from the time that you turn on, on the machine to the time that you are now. Um, and on the very mm, opposite of that section is the number of graphs. This is the goal that we, did, that, that we set for the day. So we know how many graphs we need. So uh, basically that will be counted uh, down. As we extract more, that number goes down and it shows us how many more we have to go through. So this whole procedure has been set for 2,000 graphs. We already removed 800, we have 1,200 more to go. And then on the very top portion, we have a Smart React. If you don't want to use the pedal for extraction, for every extraction, if you, you want to just not be relying on the pedal, you can activate the Smart React. The machine is connected to the suction system. So the tip of the punch, when you look, when you touch the skin, it um, it creates a negative pressure that triggers the machine and with every time that you touch the skin the machine knows that he has to activate the whole set of new uh, modes so in this case we have a delay delay time too I usually put it on 200 or 100 millisecond so that tells the machine that every time that I touch the skin with the tip of my punch I have 200 millisecond to adjust my punch center it and then after 200 milliseconds, my phases will get started. So I touch the skin, I go 200 milliseconds, nothing will happen after that. I'm gonna have 200 milliseconds of maximum energy rotation, followed by 100 milliseconds of oscillation in this case. Usually we increase that number to probably four or five. So this is gonna be a full pass off, uh, delay, rotation, uh, oscillation, and that's it for each graph and it's going to be repeated exactly the same for every set of extractions.